Go readings everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my beautiful ride chair revolutionaries. It's me Gio, the leader of the ride chair revolution, the ride chair rock star and the captain of the 2K club and the realist, the funniest, the handsomest and the beardest driver on YouTube. And uh, I actually I've already gotten a few comments on the channel and a few emails about this. So we're going to explore uh, what came in yesterday on the app about the referral terms and conditions as you guys see there um, We got this yesterday right there two different um, notifications uh, Check that out my, my rating went up 4.97. Yeah, buddy Yeah, yeah. all right Back on topic. All right, let's take a closer look at this All right, we're gonna skip past most of this nonsense um, blah 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 blah, and this is where we're gonna go right to the, this part. Um, how can I use my referral code? Uber has the right to limit the number of times you may use or share refer your referral code based on the referral pro program in which you participate. To see if your code has a limit, refer to the terms of the specific referral program in which you're participating. I don't want to read through all this bullshit. So let's go into the things you agree that you will not. Let's let's focus on that. Duplicate, sell, or transfer your referral code in any manner or make it available to the general public, such as, such as printing on business cards. I don't know how they're going to track that. Posting it on a coupon website, job website, or using it as a part of a job application. Amazon, eBay, Fiverr, Craigslist, Retail Me Not, Reddit, Wikipedia, or using social media or paid search. Is, is YouTube part of that? Let's find out. Try to get referees, invitees by spamming, bulk emailing, or sending large numbers of unsolicited emails. The people you should be emailing are people you know personally. There you go. Use, display, or manipulate Uber logo and textual properties, such as Uber logos, trademarks, and copyright protected works in any way except as, as to identify yourself as an Uber user, Uber referrer, inviter, or referrer, inviter for Uber. Create any, create or register any businesses, URLs, domain names, software application names, or titles, or social media handles, some uh, uh, handles or profiles that include the word profile of Uber or any of Uber's other trademarks or words that are confusingly similar to Uber's trademarks. Um, okay, that part uh, is interesting to me. Okay, let's let's tackle that right now. Okay. Um, I called Uber this morning. I just called them five minutes ago. Um, and we're going to finish up the rest of this, uh, this, this um, email in a bit. I called them and said, I'm just curious how this is going to work. They, uh, the Uber representative told me that, because I told him I get all of my referrals through my YouTube channel. He said, you're, cha you are, you're perfectly, because I thought maybe by the looks of this that we might be limited to maybe like a few referrals a month or something. And if we exceeded a certain amount of referrals, then they would freeze or deactivate our code or something like that. Um, and he said, as long as if you are an active driver on the platform and you're not just spamming codes, then your referrals will be honored. That's what the representative told me. Um, and so he said, cause he had access to my account. He said, I'm perfectly fine because I've been on the app for three years, 10,000 rides, um, so I have nothing to worry about. Um, but now I'm looking at number four here, and I'm looking at, so I'm thinking of um, some of you guys. With this, I don't. You guys might want to call them yourselves. I'm, I'm thinking about like uh, like Uber Driver 101, Uber Hints. Uh, a lot of you guys have YouTube accounts with Uber's name in your, as part of your handle or your account, you know, your social media profile. So you might want to call, you might want to contact the app and see if that's okay. Um, otherwise, like don't don't let your referrals get frozen because of this. Um, all right, so moving on. Use Uber's trademarks as your social media profile. There's a couple of you out there that do that. That's bum shit. Uh, picture or wallpaper, use any of Uber's copyright protected works. Blah, 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 without Uber's express permission, which you're not going to get. Purchase keywords. Uh, I guess that's like buying ad space, which I don't think I'm, I don't think there's any uh, rideshare YouTubers that do that. Uh, use automated system or bots through any channel to distribute, post, or otherwise share your referral code. I'm not aware of any rideshare YouTubers that do that. 
Use scripts or program automatic dialers to send invites or otherwise share a referral code. Like I said, I don't know if anyone, I can't speak for anyone that does this. Uh, it must be happening if they're saying you're not allowed to do it anymore, which I think is just crazy. Let me turn the air up. It's actually a little, a little warm here. Right. Too loud. Um, make misleading claims about Uber, use offensive, abusive content, create fake websites, web pages, social media profiles, apps, misrepresent your connection to Uber, otherwise make any false or misleading statements to get a referee invite or invitee to use your code or use your referral code in any manner that violates the law of the rights or of, or the rights of anyone else. I'm too caffeinated this morning, guys. I'm sorry. Um, all right. The number nine, I th that reminds me of the, I've seen on Craigslist, uh, people, people, and I've seen this on other YouTubers too, uh, YouTubers channels. Um, They'll, they'll say like, oh, make $1,000 using this code. And on Craigslist, like make $1,000 using this code. And it's, you know, it doesn't specify which it's like, that's, that's, that, yeah, that's, it's, it's, it's making a misleading claim about how much you can make off the bonus if you use that code. When sometimes if it's a guarantee, you make, you might not make anything, right? So that's the only thing I could really think of for that. Uh, like I said, all these things. I think this is just an attempt by the app to um, dissuade or cut back on spammers. I mean, like I said, some of this stuff, like the automated bots or whatever, never heard of that happening. Obviously, it must have been happening at some point. Um, and like I, when I, before I called Uber, I was actually thinking, um, would this affect me? Would this uh, make like? I have my I have my referral codes in my videos. You guys have seen them. Um, I just don't know, like if I lost my ability to make revenue off of referrals, like that wouldn't be as much of a blow to me as some people would think it'd be. And I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be totally transparent with you guys because I love transparency. Um, Let's look at like income as a as the pie chart, right? If you looked at my total, one hundred percent of my income, ninety percent of it is driving. Like maybe six or seven percent would be referrals, YouTube rev, and the rest would be like YouTube revenue and stuff like that. Um, or maybe one percent would be yeah. Let's just say one percent of YouTube revenue. So let's just boost my referrals to nine percent of my total revenue. Most of my revenue and income comes from driving. So if they did freeze my referral codes or take away my ability to make money with referrals, I would personally, I wouldn't really, it would suck because I, there are some times where I do make a substantial amount every like uh, July, I think I made a ton of money off referrals. Um, but it wouldn't be like, it wouldn't be like a sledgehammer to the chest. It would, you know, it would suck, but I, I would just brush it off. Um, some of there are other YouTubers where that they make more off referrals than they make from driving, and this would definitely negatively impact them. Um, so let's uh, let's be transparent first and foremost. So let's go to the other one first. Yeah. Um, all right. As you guys can see there, I've had thirty referees complete the um, the trips necessary to get for me to get the the referral bonus. And I've made off referrals off of Uber $10,600. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say nine, over 9,000 that is from the YouTube channel, is from people using my code on the YouTube channel. Um, how do I get to the other one? Um, and you know what? I'm actually semi proud of that number because. I have barely mentioned referrals over the life of my channel. I got over 200 videos. I I don't like talking about referrals. So all this, this is, I mean, organic, I guess you want to say. Um, I, I, that's not, that's not my game. I don't, I don't rely on referrals. Referrals are awesome when I get them, but um, I, I, I think it's hack to, to, to have a channel just for the sake of getting referrals. So, so obviously that's, uh, that's what I've made so far for referrals. Um, let's go into, okay. 
I, okay, and this is my pending referrals. I, and like I said, this is all from the YouTube channel. This is 100%. This is everyone that has signed up using my code um, from the channel. As you guys, as you guys can see there, ten thousand dollars in pending referrals. Um, this is this is another reason why I've told you guys if you are interested in making extra revenue to start your own channel, it's worth that much money. As you guys can see there, um, some of these will never complete the rides. It's, it's, it's how it is. Um, I, I, if you guys want, I'll make another video about my my referrals for Lyft. Um, you guys would laugh how few people have completed the referrals on Lyft. I mean, like, I've probably had more people sign up on Lyft and two or three people complete the terms of, of their, you know, of their referrals to complete the trips to get the bonus money on Lyft. So, and that's, that's like I said, that's the value of having a YouTube channel, a semi-popular YouTube channel. It's, it's worth more than you guys think. Um, and that's just my channel. Some of the larger ones make good money, but like I said, they don't really drive. So, or their focus is more referrals than driving. Um, yeah. And uh, I just want to put that quick video out. Uh, your referral codes are still good as long as you're not spamming them by any of the things that I listed. Uh, those of you uh, ride or YouTubers that have, you might want to call the apps and make sure your, your codes are, are valid based on your social media profiles. Um, just better safe than sorry. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got, guys. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay classy, stay bearded, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.